Hello and welcome to Dare to Think. I'm your host, Gene St. Croix. Welcome back again. On the last series, we talked about time, time management, managing your time efficiently, the benefits of time management, and then the conclusion was to maintain your accomplishment. Today, we're going to start with something different. What I will focus on today is acceptance and changes. For some reason, I have to link those two together. To be precise, I want to say acceptance of self. Now, the reason why I want to link acceptance and changes is because changes will always happen. Your life is constantly changing. Your body, your mind, you're constantly changing. And unfortunately, we don't have too much control over that. You are a baby at some point, and then a toddler, then a young kid, and then a preteen, and then a teenager, young adult, an adult, mid age, and then you grow old. Those changes you cannot do anything about. And in the process of going through all those changes, your body is changing. You used to have a supple body, very flexible body. At some point, your bones, they're <laughs> getting hardened. You become stiff. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff you used to do that you can't do anymore. And sometimes you get skinnier. You get um, a little bit fatter. The body goes through a lot. And that's why it's important that at every stage in your life, you can accept yourself. So, acceptance and changes, they work together. If you don't adapt to changes, and if you don't accept yourself for who you are at the moment that those changes are happening, you will live a miserable life. I'm talking, I'm talking about my own experience here. The show is Dare to Think and it's just my thoughts. We're not teaching anything. I'm, I'm just talking my personal experiences. How I get to understand life or how I can express life. What I understand. So changes will always happen. In your environment, at work, in a house, it would always happen. In your family, in your community, changes will always happen. So it's good to maintain who you are. Now, if I want to ask a frankly question, if I, if I ask you who you are, or who are you? If I ask you, who are you? Do you really know your answer? Because to some people, when you say, who are you? They will tell you about what they are. Maybe their job, their career, 
their studies, what they own, you know, their house, their car, money they have in the bank. And, you know, they might even tell you what other people say them, what other people say about them. So do we really know who we are? That's a question you can ask yourself. Because if you take away what you have, what you have gathered on this planet, if you take all that away, who are you? That's a question you can ask yourself. But who we are, in a sense, is how we go through every second. Is how we react to life. You have to accept the changes as they come. Because deep down, we don't have any clues. So it's important not to complicate your life too much about certain things. There are a lot of things that you will never understand. You will never understand why they happen. Because you will, you will go through stages in life. We all are going through stages in life. Some of, them, some of those moments, they are unexplicable. Until, until you, know, you, you go old, you still cannot understand some of the things that happen in, that happen in your life. So for the things that you don't understand, I would say don't worry so much. You just have to be willing to learn. Don't worry about it. Why worry about something that you don't understand? Now, don't get me wrong. Now, if you're curious to know, do your due diligence. If you're curious to know, just, you know, get a book, do something. Try not learn it. But other than that, just accept life. Accept who you are in the moment. And adapt to the changes. You have to learn how to be the, the rock in the middle of the ocean. Let the waves pass you by. And enjoy. There are so many things that we have to accept. Now, for example, I don't have to argue with you. There's there's day, there's night. But for many of us, we don't even understand it. Why there's days and there's night? We just we came to this earth. Right? It's a normal process. There's day, there's night. And okay, there's day, there's night. Do we un- do we understand why? We don't have to. I mean, honestly, we, we don't have to. Day and night doesn't have to do with work and sleep only. There are so many things around us that we don't understand. Life is not only about understanding. You will never understand everything. That's just how it is. Rather, life is about experiencing. If you are willing and open to life, You will experience life. Now, if there is one takeaway from everything I've already said, you cannot or you will not fully accept any changes in your life if you are not playing your part. You have to play your part. As a young kid growing up, there are certain things that you have to do. Just do them. 
it will just make your life so much more easier in the long run. In life, you have to pay your dues all the time. Pay the dues when they are due. And then accept yourself for who you are. Accept the situation, the circumstances, the changes. And you will move forward. Accept yourself at every moment. Because change will always come. Either you want it or not, it will come. Now, it could be for the best, it could be for the worst. But if you are paying your dues, if you are doing what you're supposed to do with the best of your knowledge and your ability, always do the best you can with your knowledge and your ability. And then accept the changes. Now, you can go in the comment section below and, you know, tell us how you accept the changes in your life. I'm sure that will be a fun conversation. It was fun on Dare to Think. I'm your host, Gene St. Croix. We'll talk again.